Shiloh, my boy, it's been 16 years that you have been in my life. The shelter thought you were five when we adopted you, but the vet said three. So 19 is the age that we believe you are. That day that I found you, 16 years ago, I knew you were my Shiloh. We went to the shelter just to look at animals, but once we were there, I knew there was a dog there that needed me, and I knew his name would be Shiloh. While walking the aisles, looking through the cages, I happened upon you. The shelter had categorized you as a medium-sized dog because your fur was so overgrown and matted, but you were really tiny underneath. You jumped and did spins in your cage to try to impress me. You barked at me to keep my attention, smiling with your green infected eye. I knew in that moment it was you. You were Shiloh and I couldn't leave without you. Through the years you have been my shadow, always attached to me, anywhere I'd go. You alongside Audrey were my first babies. I did everything for you guys. Our weekends revolved around you and what fun activities we thought you guys would enjoy. You'd go to see Auntie Ashley and Uncle Michael, knowing them as just that. You are our family. We never wanted you left alone for too long while we worked, so Gammy and Pops happily babysat you four days a week. I started denying going out with friends because I'd rather be home with my husband and fur babies. When I became pregnant, you sensed it. You and Audrey both. You became even more attached than you already were. When Ellis was born, you'd climb onto the breastfeeding pillow, willing to be squished by him if it meant you were close to mom. You have been through a lot as a dog. You had to say goodbye to your sister and soulmate, Audrey. You had to say goodbye to Abby, your girlfriend from Gammy and Pops' house. You had to say goodbye to your brother, Pups. You moved away from your first dad, accepting Kyle with open paws. <laughs> you have had to see me get sick. And boy, have you noticed. It seems that my cancer has broken you. At first, you enjoyed the extra rest that I needed, but you soon picked up on me being unwell. It brought you down. Then, when I was hospitalized for 15 days, Dad told me that you thought I died. He said that you grieved the loss of me, and you weren't the same. I came home to you, and you were thrilled, but you were still never the same. It was like you somehow knew what cancer was doing to me. Over the past year, with old age, you have distanced yourself. You started sleeping in a dog bed. You stopped cuddling, playing, going for walks. It breaks my heart to see you this way, but I am grateful to know that you have lived a beautiful life. It is time to say goodbye, my sweet Shiloh. After all of these years together, you have supported me through so much. It is time for you to rest, to be with Audrey, Abby, and Pups. Thank you for teaching me what it means to be a mom, even if it's to a fur baby. Thank you for the unconditional love Thank you for getting me through heartbreak, pregnancies, my miscarriage, and through my first two years battling cancer. Thank you for accepting my human babies, even though they took your place in a way. Thank you for a true companionship that I have only known with you. You are an outstanding guy. Tonight, we will celebrate you. We will share our stories like how you wore a tux to my proposal or how you went diarrhea all over my bed <laughs> with me in it because you snuck a bag of chocolate chips. We will buy a tree to plant in your honor. We will watch it grow and think of you. We will eat its fruit and sit in its shade thinking of you, my Shiloh. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>